welcome, <clears throat> welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today we are working on the Barbie quilt behind me. Um, I have some applique blocks almost finished, and so we'll actually be able to sew some of the blocks together. So right now what I'm working on is this sweet little dress block, and I've talked to you about this in other videos. The dress came from a piece of clip art that looks like this. I cut it out of a Barbie fabric, which is the black stripe, and then I sewed a piece of the background material on top, sewed all the way around it, cut a slit up the center, flipped it inside out, and now I'm hand applicating this onto the background. If you're asking how did I get the bow to stay on, I ran the bow through the back of the dress, tied it, and then I hot glued the streamers down the front. So I'm going to be moving the camera to my hands now to show you how I'm hand applicating this. Okay, so you're going to double your thread one piece through the eye and then the second piece through the eye. And then you're going to come in at a slant on your fabric run your needle through the eye of the thread okay then you're going to make teeny tiny stitches at an angle along the edge of this fabric and hope that it doesn't show okay it's kind of hard on this black stripe My stitch is kind of big, but it's still turning other, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because right here on the white stripe, you won't be able to see it as much. So you keep doing that until you get all the way around the piece. And the reason you want to go in at an angle is because your stitch will automatically fold to the back. If you go in straight, like you're trying to do a buttonhole stitch, you will be able to see it. So people might be saying, well, why didn't you just applique it on by machine? Because I didn't want um, great big sawtooth stitches all the way around the outside edge. I didn't want a zigzag showing. So I just decided to do it like this. And I did notice until just a few minutes ago, I got a little off center. It's really a little too close to the right hand side of the fabric. But we're just going to keep keep this train rolling. There is no pattern for what I'm doing. It's my own pattern. I just got all the designs off a of clip art and started cutting the pieces out of fabric. It's really hard to do this on camera because it's it's kind of nerve-wracking. There's no such thing as fast hand applique. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes time. I have several, several projects going on that I'll share with you one by one. I always have more than one project at a time happening, it seems like. It keeps me from getting bored. I find it really hard to just concentrate on one project at a time for long extended periods of time. If it's something I can get done in a weekend, I'm okay with it. But if it's a big mega project, like I have to have more than one thing happening. Okay, so this block is finished. So if this project goes as planned. We are going to have a printed piece of fabric, an applique piece of fabric, printed applique, printed applique, so on and so forth. So the next um, applique piece I'm doing is the lips. This will all have to be sewn around the outside edge. 
and let me show you again the technique. You put a piece of white fabric down on the front of whatever it is you're trying to applique. Okay, so you've got white on top of pink. You sew all the way around it. You kind of pull it apart like so. Cut a slit up the center. And then flip it inside out. And then you want to give it a good steam press so that you can get the lining on the back. Alright, so then this particular piece, I'm going to have to sew around the outside edge, but I'm also going to embroider the lip line down the middle. So this is a fairly involved um, project, but I think it'll be super cute when I get it done. There's the Barbie panel. You can buy all of the Barbie fabrics in my online store, Cottage Designs by Erin, on Amazon. The panel can be purchased on eBay or on Etsy. And I think those are the only two places. The panel uh, has ser several variations. I haven't seen it in the blonde Barbie, but there's a killer brunette Barbie. And it's... Um, more lavender, turquoise, and fuchsia. It's very, very pretty. She's got jet black hair. It's adorable. So, but I, I like the redheaded Barbie because I'm redheaded. So that's why we went with that. All right. I hope you learned something from my video. Stop back by because I'll be uploading more. Thank you.